Hello boxing fans, let's talk about the three undefeated boxers that Miguel Cotto destroyed inside the ring. Number 1. On September 11, 2004, Cotto faced undefeated Kelson Pinto with 21 wins and 19 knockouts from Brazil for the vacant WBO World Super Lightweight title. This represented the third fight between them, with Pinto being victorious in their two previous encounters, both of which took place while they were still amateurs. Cotto, hungry and eager to seek revenge and also not let his home crowd down started out beautifully and in the second round Pinto was floored with a right to the chin followed by a vicious left hook to the side of the head. The crowd was ecstatic, but the brave Pinto got up the canvas and survived the round. The fifth round started out the same, and as Pinto's courage started to build up towards the end of the round he moved closer to Cotto and tried to trade with him. This proved to be fatal, and once again Cotto unloaded his artillery with at least five vicious punches including an uppercut that staggered the Brazilian, and on his way to the canvas Cotto's punching power and incredible speed would land one last punch as the Brazilian was dropped for the second time in the fight. Saved by the bell Cotto did not waste any time when they came out for the sixth. He launched into full attack, landing a right hand to the jaw and unloading power punch after power punch against the helpless Brazilian who was trying hard to block punches to no success. One last left hook to the body dropped Pinto and referee Roberto Ramirez stopped the fight just as Pinto's corner was about to throw the towel. Cotto captured his first world title, the WBO World Super Lightweight. Number 2. On September 24th, 2005, Cotto make his third WBO World Super Lightweight title defense against undefeated and knockout artist Ricardo Torres with 28 wins and 26 knockouts from Colombia. In the first round, Cotto had an offensive advantage and scored a knockdown on Torres. In the second round, Cotto was knocked down for the first time in his career. Torres caught him with a left hook, and Cotto went down. Cotto managed to get back on his feet, but he was clearly hurt. The rest of the round was a back-and-forth battle, with both fighters landing some big shots. In the fourth round, Cotto knocked Torres down with a left hook. Torres got back up, but he was clearly shaken. Cotto continued to land some big shots, but Torres managed to survive the round. The fifth and sixth rounds were both closely contested, with both fighters landing some big shots. Cotto was rocked again in the sixth round, but he managed to stay on his feet. In the seventh round, Cotto knocked Torres down again, this time with a right hand. Torres got back up, but he was clearly hurt. And the referee eventually stopped the fight at 152 of the round. Number 3. On December 2, 2006, Cotto moved to the welterweight division to challenge the undefeated Carlos Quintana with 23 wins and 18 knockouts for the vacant WBA World Welterweight title. The fight began with both fighters having their moments, but it was Cotto who gradually gained the upper hand. By round 4, Quintana had already sustained a puffiness over his right eye and welts under both. Cotto continued to apply pressure, while Quintana struggled to find an answer to the relentless assault. In the pivotal fifth round, Miguel Cotto's dominance became even more apparent. He knocked down Carlos Quintana twice, with the first knockdown coming from a devastating left hook to the body. Quintana managed to rise to his feet, but his spirit was clearly broken, and Cotto continued to press the attack. Despite the urging of his corner, Carlos Quintana refused to come out for another round after the fifth. The referee, Steve Smogger, had no choice but to stop the contest, awarding the victory to Miguel Cotto by round technical decision in round five. This win secured Cotto the WBA World Welterweight title and marked his successful debut in the welterweight division.